Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I will show you how to accurately measure the capacity of any battery using multifunction battery meter. PZM015 is what I have selected and it comes with shunt. You need a kind of uh, load I have selected the vehicle headlamp for the load battery meter then you need the shunt and this is a leaf module we are going to test the capacity of the leaf module today first of all you start with measuring the voltage seven point eight five so that means the leaf module has not fully charged you can connect the battery meter using this diagram you can connect the wires like this and connect positive and negative to this module then you can switch on and see the voltage 7.85 which is correct as per the multimeter as well i am going to charge this module 8.4 volts that is the maximum voltage nickel manganese cobalt type lithium ion battery for that i am going to use this ordinary battery charger and a buck converter in order to set the voltage and current correctly for charging okay now i will turn on the battery charger and measure the voltage yeah 14.5 now we will give that to buck converter make sure you don't short circuit the wires during this process very important okay negative side first time you do yeah positive side look like this Keep it like this so that they don't short circuit. Now we will measure the voltage of buck converter output. Don't short the buck converter as well. Okay. Negative, positive. Yeah, I have adjusted the buck converter exactly 8.42 volt as you can see. Therefore, now I can directly give this output to the leaf module. I will do that now. Negative. positive so you can see the voltage is increasing we will measure the current charging current 11.2 11.1 ampere is a very good charging current normally we recommend only 10 ampere maximum charging for a leaf module we can reduce the current but it is okay now we will keep it until it is charged battery is almost charged to 8.4 volts while it is charging we will set the 
parameters clear all the existing data whatever is available to get the accurate uh, region so i will depress this one and it will uh, show this one if you press there and it will keep on rotating like this depress this button and you will come here again if you depress that parameter we can adjust see now it is 8.4 volts i have already adjusted now this blinking digit is keep on rotating if you want to change the voltage say uh, 8 now it is 8 uh, while it is in blinking you can change any digit so I will change 4 or oh, now see now it is becoming 6 7 like that you can uh, press and you can just stop pressing then it will be uh, registered now you you have to depress again to register this number now it is coming to lowest volume the maximum uh, voltage we have set now the lowest voltage uh, again we have to set I have set it to 6.4 volt you can even go for 6. Point, um, say 6.0 or 6.2 and depress it. Uh, now we have set the voltage limit again depress uh, press again now depress then it is the uh, current shunt uh, this shunts uh, specification you have to set now my one is 100 uh, ampere watt so accordingly you have to set the number here depress clear watt hours depress now it is erased no existing watt hours similarly all the other parameters you have to clear like this MP hours I will clear by depressing here it is cleared now depress uh, time you have to clear depress now everything is cleared we are good to go ahead with uh, capacity test for that according to the um, circuit diagram given here you have to arrange your uh, load and the shunt we can obtain the power from leaf module itself we don't have to connect a battery but when it drops below 6 volt or 6.5 volt somewhere around this unit will be turned off therefore we have to give an external power supply therefore i am using this battery which we can connect to these two probes so that it will keep turned on while the battery is fully discharged now i will check the balance 4.185 4.211 the side misbalance you can correct it by connecting a load to the over voltage cell the difference is very uh, minimal i will not do it here if it is more than uh, 100 millivolt you can do the balance Power is given from this battery. Now 
even without connecting the battery the module will work now we will connect the positive yep and positive will go to the load directly and negative yeah So the test started. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you like the video, you can give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel so that you can watch more and more very useful videos in future.